What's going on, guys? Hope you're having a happy Sunday. Today, we are going to be watching part of my stream. I tend to do a lot of just chatting on stream, and specifically, the last couple days, I've been doing a bunch of just chatting. So I decided we did some really cool stuff on stream. I thought it'd be great for YouTube. We're going to show it off here. I finally decided to take the Pottermore quiz. The video literally starts with us ending the trailer for the new Harry Potter game that's coming out. So if you want to see that, freaking Google it. It's awesome. It looks so cool. Uh, actually, I'll put a video link down below for the trailer of the game. It's amazing. But we realized that I don't really know what I am. I've never done the quiz. I've always assumed I was Ravenclaw. Some people thought I'd be Gryffindor. We actually took a poll in the chat of what I would be, and it was a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed it. The chat enjoyed it. I thought it was a great time. I've never done it before. I thought you guys would like to see it too. So enjoy this. If you guys ever want to watch this or participate or be in it live, it's just twitch.tv slash Barbosa. Go over there, turn on notifications. You'll get a message every time I go live, and you can come hang out. It's a lot of fun. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this. I know it's a weird one. It's a different thing, but I hope you're having a very happy Sunday. Thank you for hanging out. Enjoy the video. Ah! Have a good time. Okay, bye. The choices I love it. You make now will define the legacy of Hogwarts. Dude. That's cool as frick. Oh, frick. So cool, dude. If I get slithered, I'm throwing it out. Oh, God, dude. <laughs> Slytherin gang, I don't know what I am. I've never taken the Pottermore quiz. Is that free? Can I take the Pottermore quiz without paying money somehow? I'll do it right now, dude. I'll find out. Uh, Into the Spider-Verse was one of my favorite movies and it's probably gonna age like a fine wine. True, true. I'm a full-blown Potterhead and I'm gonna go full-blown nerd. I've never been, <laughs> I've ever been in my life for this game. Dude, this game's gonna be fun. Hopefully, I don't know. I've never. I don't know how good those those um those whatever they're called are. Those studios are. I think what I what I think Horton is gonna happen because you said if you get Slytherin, you're gonna throw out your PlayStation. I think what's gonna happen is I think that's gonna be the the selection screen that you get different things in the game. Like you'll be able to choose your house, and then your house will give you like different things. You know. What's up, Unplug? I've taken a crap ton of quizzes and I get Slytherin all the time. I'm sure there's a version of it for free. All right, let's see. Free Potter more quiz. Official Potter more sorting hat quiz. All right, I guess I'm making a Potter more account chat. I can take the official quiz without paying. I just have to take, I just have to make an account. We're making a Pottermore account, dude. I'm getting a wizarding passport, chat. Discover your house. Start the cer sorting ceremony. Oh, is that it? We're ready? Okay, we're in it. All right. We're doing our Pottermore quiz, dude. Frick. I saw a TikTok that said, Hufflepuff, you were, were potheads. Their names are Hufflepuff. An herbologist is their head teacher, and their house is next to the kitchen. <laughs> Uh, that's good, dude. So what is... Is Ravenclaw just smart? Is that what Ravenclaw is? Oh, yeah. <laughs> White Pod just, just uh, gave me some stuff, chat. One sec. So we went to... We went to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Florida. Florida? No, it was here in, in California, actually. I forgot about that. And we got the scarves, chat. I got Ravenclaw, White Paw got Gryffindor. They're good scarves. They're like actually thick. It's not cold here though, so. But still. You got Ravenclaw? Yeah, I got a Ravenclaw scarf. I'm gonna wear my scarf. Maybe it'll give me extra Ravenclaw energy, huh? Get some extra Ravenclaw energy in this. All right, let's do it. We're taking the Pottermore quiz, man. What am I? Okay. Let's turn down this music a little bit. All right. What kind of Pottermore energy we getting, dude? What do you guys think? Before I even start, what do you guys think I'm going to be, dude? What do you guys think I'm going to be? My best friend is going to mail you something on his birthday. He lives in Texas. It'll arrive in two years. Nah, if he lives in Texas, anywhere to the U.S., it'll probably take two weeks. Hufflepuff? Okay. Unplug's got Hufflepuff. 
Hufflepuff or Gryffindor. Hufflepuff or Ravenclaw. All right, Pog. Dude, that's nice. I, I, all the Hufflepuff people are really nice, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Gryffindor. All right, so we got... Let, let, here, let, I'm going to make a little note. Notepad. All right, so we've got... We've got... Huff. Griff. Slith. S what is it? Is it S-Y? Slith? Sith? Like that? Slith? I don't know how... Slith? Sliv? Like that? Sliv. That one, that one gets an H. <laughs> okay, you know what? I just learned something that um, the four letters of all these houses together, you don't want to pronounce them out loud. So that's what I just learned. So we're just gonna, we're gonna do the whole thing. We're just gonna do the whole thing, huh? <laughs> we're just gonna do the whole thing. Uh, how do you spell Hufflepuff? Is it L E L E P U F F? Okay. All right. Hufflepuff. We've got how many? One, two, three. Three people think that I could be Hufflepuff. Three different Hufflepuff options. I got one, two, three. Three Gryffindor. Baron, what do you think I'm going to be? Slytherin, your teacher made you do it and you were Hufflepuff? Ravenclaw, the new house run by White Paw. <laughs> Ravenpaw, the new house run, run by White Paw. And one more. All right, and Baron says Gryffindor, so we'll do the last one in Gryffindor. All right, let's see how, how right you guys are. Let's find out. I don't know how to answer any of these questions, so I'm just going to do it. Choose one, dawn or dusk. Um, I'm a morning and night person. Frick. I'm gonna go morning. I've been more morning lately. Would I rather be liked, trusted, feared, envied? Was that imitated or praised? I don't care about praise. I don't care about imitation. Uh, people already envy me, which they shouldn't. I don't want to be feared ever. I would rather be trusted out of all these. I, I want someone to trust me. I don't really care if you like me, but if you can trust me, that's important to me. You guys can answer along too in the chat if you want. Oh, you were showing me how to spell it? I'm too soft for Slytherin? Probably, dude. Did I spell it right, by the way? Slytherin. I did. Thank you. Sorry. No, you're, you're Dusk? I'm Dusk? Well, I already answered wrong, guys. All right. After you died, what, what would most people, what would you like people to do when they hear your name? What, what would you like most? What would you most like? Wouldn't you say like most, not most like? Ah, eh, whatever. Who cares? Ask for stories about your adventures. Miss you, but smile. No, I don't want that. Think with admiration of your achievements. I don't care what people think after I'm dead. It's what they think of me when I'm alive that counts. Actually, no. I want to be remembered for as long as I can. The, 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 the idea of being immortal is being immortal through stories. And that's what I love. I would love for people to ask either about my stories or admire all of my achievements. Hmm, like he did this, he did that, he did this. I think I have interesting stories. I think that's kind of why just chatting works. My achievements are like important to me though. Hmm. You know what though? I think if someone was like, if someone asked me all of my achievements or someone asked me to tell them a story, I would be much more excited to tell somebody a story. So I'm going with stories. What are you looking forward to most learning at Hogwarts? All about magical, magical creatures and how to befriend and care for them. Flying on a broomstick. That would be sick. Apparition and disapparition. Being able to materialize and dematerialize as will. That's freaking sick. Secrets about the castle. Transfiguration, turning one object into another. I don't care about that. I don't care about hexes. Every area of magic I can. Don't care about that either, really. Like, I do want to learn about everything, but... Honestly, secrets about the castle and apparition and, and disapparition are sick. Isn't isn't Potterheads in the chat? Isn't apparition and, and disapparition... Isn't that just teleporting? That's every time they do that thing and they go... <laughs> like that, right? Isn't that what that is? Because teleporting's pretty freaking dope. I'm not gonna lie. 
Also, sometimes they have to fly broomsticks and then sometimes they teleport across the world. What's up with that? Huh? Anyone want to explain to me Harry Potter, the whole concept of the entire movie? Also, I can't wear this sweater any or this scarf anymore. It's too hot. It's way too hot. All right, let's take this off. I'm sorry, scarf. Here, you could be up here for good luck. Well, figure it out. I lost it, chat. It's not going, it's not happening. Oh, wait, I can do this. Because it's a scarf. There we go. Boy with Scar didn't die, so he'd do the magic. That's Harry Potter. I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah, pretty much. But teleporting is with a poor key. You could just do it. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm going to go for secrets about the castle. I'm like an investigating kind of guy. I like that junk. Four goblets are placed before you. Which do you choose to drink? Smooth, thick, rich purple that gives off a delicious smell of chocolate and plums. Black, mysterious liquid that gleams like ink, gives off fumes that make you see strange visions. I feel like this is asking me what kind of drugs I want to take. And his teachers, thank you, babe. Try and kill him or just plain hate him. Uh, foaming, frothing, silver liquid sparkles as though it's containing ground diamonds. Don't want to drink ground diamonds. No, thank you. Golden liquid that's so bright it hurts your eyes, which makes spots, sunspots dance all around the room. Hmm. What would you guys drink? I don't want to drink the chocolate plum liquid. This one is just asking me if I like hallucinogenics. This this liquid right here. You do plums? The ink goblet? The ink goblet is interesting to me. But to be honest, I like frothy drinks, but drinking liquid light would be so interesting to me. Liquid light would be wild. Give me the black scissor. <laughs> I like this foaming, frothy, silverly liquid that sparkles as though containing ground diamonds. I don't want to drink something glittery, personally. I'm going to go with liquid light, dude. I'm going to go with liquid light. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Cats, toads, owls. I ain't taking a cat. I'm sorry, wife. I'll probably take an owl, dude. Owls are like... Owls are dope, man, and they're so freaking smart, and they can see in the night, and they have razor sharp claws, dude. I'm taking an owl, dude. I'm taking an owl. Okay. Barn owl, tawny owl, snowy owl, screech owl, dude. Screech owl looks sick. Look at look how cute and fat this one is. <laughs> so fat. What's the last one? A screech owl? Look at it. It's a screech owl. Look how regal that mother effort looks. I wouldn't want a snow owl. I, I would want a screech owl or a barn owl. Like, this is just so majestic. This guy's so fat and cute. Like, I might just want him because he's fat and cute, dude. That's not the last one. There's another circle. Oh, I didn't click it. A brown owl. This guy, oh, look at this guy. He looks like a little smarty pants. And he's tubby. I'm glad you said that, because I like this one. This guy's cool. Get the fat boy. I don't know. I think I might want this fat boy. Because I like how regal these two look. <laughs> that guy's so cute. <laughs> it just makes me laugh, dude. But look at this one. This is like a big fat boy. He's like, I'm a good owl. I'm going to solve all your problems. This, this owl looks like he, he never skips chest day. <laughs> Frick, do, do I want cute and adorable? I'm going cute and adorable. F it. All right. A muggle confronts you and says that you are a witch or a wizard. Do you ask, the, ask what makes them think so? Tell them you are worried about... The freaking wording of all this is weird. Tell them you are worried about their mental health and offer to call a doctor. Agree and ask whether they like a free sample of a jinx. Agree and walk away, leaving them to wonder whether or not you're bluffing. Oh, a hundred percent. I would love to mess with people. Oh, a hundred percent. I'm not going to ask them what makes them think so. I'm not going to insult them. Okay. The, the question is, do I want to mess with their head for the rest of their life? Or do I want to mess with their head for like five minutes?
Honestly, I think I want to mess with their head for the rest of their life. I'm gonna be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a witch. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're a wizard. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Have a good one. And then I leave. Because I didn't do anything wrong. I told the truth. It's up to them, whatever they want to believe, dude. I'll 100% mess with that. <gasps> Frick, white or black? Frick. Oh, I love black clothing, but like... Like, Minecraft aesthetics, I love white, dude. I love marble. Ah, oh, frick. I've got a marble ca- Freaking, I used to have a black desktop, and now I have a marble countertop. Now I get- Now I get this Harry Potter junk chat, because, frick, man. Now I'm answering this this so seriously. Hi, Lou. Lou, we're taking the, um, we're taking the Pottermore quiz, so I can find out officially what house I'm in. Do you have a guess, Lou, of which house I'm in? We've got some guesses already. Feel free to add yours. Which house do you think I'm in? I like the white PS5. Yeah, I, I almost always go black, but like, I love modern aesthetic. I think I'm gonna go white. I think I'll go for white. Ooh, I don't know, dude. Frick, I don't know, man. Eee. Hufflepuff or Ravenclaw? All right, we got another Hufflepuff and another Ravenclaw. Pog, dude. Okay, okay, okay. I really... Ah, frick, chat. I don't know. I don't know if I want white or black, dude. My aesthetic is black and white. Like, that's my aesthetic. Is the two colors. My freaking stand for my light is black and white. That one's black. This one's white. I have a white fan. Frick, dude. I did an entire exam where my, my only aesthetic was black and white. I love black and white photography. Why you gotta make me choose, dude? Frick. All right, you know what? My room is white, but that's not by choice. But I, I am gonna choose white. And the reason I'm gonna choose white is I think if I was going to add something to an already existing like room, let's say, I would add a white object, not a black object. That's, that's why I think it is. I'm gonna go white. Easy, what color are your headphones? These headphones are white, but I bought these for white paw and my headphones are black. <laughs> so I'm saying my aesthetic is always white and black. But if I was gonna add something to a room, right? If I had a room all done and set and I was gonna add something white or black, I would probably add something white, I think. I think. Would I? Babe, did I choose black for the, for the TV stand? Because we were debating white or black for that, too. You chose black. Okay. All right, you know what? I'm going... I'm, I think I'm going to go white. I think I'm going to go white. I don't know. I think I'm going to go white. Because that just... It, it's... For me, I'm struggling to choose black, which makes me think that that's what it is. <gasps> we're already going to get our decision? Oh, frick! Any mini mighty mo? Imagine. Dude. All right. It's, it's time, chat. It's time. It's happening. Frick, what are we gonna be, dude? Oh wait, can I get a drum roll sound effect? I bet you I can. Give me a drum roll, dude. Drum roll. Is this it? Is that a drum roll with dishes? <laughs> Someone's doing drum rolls with dishes. What the frick? All right, I got no drum roll chat. I was trying to find one that's copyright free. Hey, here we go. I found one. Gryffindor! Let's go! I made it! I don't know how I made it to Gryffindor. I thought I'd be Hufflepuff or Ravenclaw. I'm a Gryffindor! Let's go, dude! <laughs> Courage, bravery, and determination. 
You probably know some of Gryffindor's most renowned members, including Albus Dumbledore and Harry Potter, but did you know the Sword of Gryffindor was made thousands of years ago by goblins or the head of House Minerva McGonagall's hobbies, including correcting articles in Transfiguration today and supporting Montrose Magpies. Share your house with pride. Pog, dude. I'm a Gryffindor. I didn't think I was going to be a Gryffindor. I thought I was going to be a Ravenclaw. Gabe got the protagonist. I'm the hero of the story. Expelliarmus. Swish and flick. Wingardian Leviosa. Hack you. Patronus quiz? There's a Patronus quiz? All right, Pog, let's do it. <laughs> 